What is going on guys? We are back with another video. Today we're doing another draft style video. Today we're doing an experiment of who will be the best, according to Madden at least, the best reunited union from college. We have a couple of names here. You can maybe make the argument of five so far. Maybe we'll see more as the draft goes on. But we have also done a reaction as a Packers fan a reaction of Rodgers potentially leaving Green Bay, and a reaction to Eric Stokes being drafted by the Packers. Maybe check those out, maybe don't. If you guys like draft content, not that I'm like the greatest in the world for him, but I try to have a little bit of fun with it. I try to, try to at least bring something on the draft weekend, one of our favorite times of the year, all of us, or most of us. Uh, so maybe leave a like, subscribe if you're new. I, I mean, I'd appreciate it. We're also going to have a Justin Fields Bears rebuild uh, most likely out later today, and then tomorrow, hopefully, if not then, Sunday will be my, uh, my big long rebuild. <laughs> hey, I left that big long there for a while, big long rebuild that, uh, that should be up one of those days. Uh, it was kind of a fun one, and, uh, I think you guys will enjoy it. It's a bit, bit long, like I said, though, uh, but of course, this class, uh, or this, you know, roster was built by someone else. I don't know who it is, but it was like the most recent one. Some of the overalls are a little high, right? There's some of them are a little high, but I felt like they were fair enough. I feel like maybe they're a little too high for Madden, but, you know, these players are pretty damn sick. Uh, so you never really know. Route Tech is the ability he got. Numbers I'm not going to really care too much about because unless... I think some of the numbers have been confirmed, but I don't think every single one of them has been. I think Devontae Smith is actually going to wear a single digit, if I'm not mistaken. 80 overall here with Mr. Jalen Hurts. Uh, and then, of course, we have, I wouldn't say the biggest surprise of them all, but uh, a little bit of a shocking one. I mean, not shocking, but kind of like a, okay, it's fun, but is that really the best decision type of thing? Jamar Chase reuniting with Joe Burrow. Let's actually see what uh, Dev, he, uh, not Dev, see what uh, ability. I gave him Superstar X Factor just because I feel like if the other two are superstars, you probably make Jamar X Factor, right? I think that's that's probably fair. And then also, I mean, I'm not going to really care too much about it, but Travis Etienne, I suppose, will have that on the list. Uh, you know, could be some fun. As much as people are arguing, like, crying about, oh, James Robinson. Here's the thing. Drafting Etienne isn't about disrespecting James Robinson, uh, but it's more of a question of, was that your biggest need? Because they're not the same player. They're different styles of players, obviously, and they bring different things to the table. James Robinson isn't going to be some god-tier receiving back for you. So ETN, depending on how they want to use him, I mean, it's not necessarily just a quote-unquote running back pick, quote-unquote a disrespect to uh, James Robinson. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, you just don't know, right? Of course, talk about some potential fun with this roster. There's a lot to like about the Jaguars. You would probably think taking ETN was a little bit of an iffy one, though. I don't know, but... Yeah, there's that, and then of course, technically Mac Jones and Damian Harris. It's that's a bit of a reach one. I'm not gonna really pay attention to that one. I don't think maybe I'll look at Mac Jones, but yeah, no, nah, nah, you know, eh, just saying, just saying. Uh, but let's go on and uh, let's see what happens. I mean, you can already see that uh, Miami doesn't make the playoffs. They go six and ten, which is kind of rough. Let's actually take the look at the rest of the teams. Uh, the Bengals are ten and six. Okay, Jamar Chase looks like he helped them quite a bit, right? I mean, that's. That's pretty damn solid, actually. Uh, the Panthers. Any other teams? I'm trying to think. Eagles, they made it. They made the list. So let's take a look at those numbers, I suppose. That's kind of the whole point. To a nine, the greatest numbers, 3,700 yards, 26 touchdowns, 13 interceptions. Waddle in the slot, not even playing the uh, the number one or two wide receiver role, technically. 69 touchdowns, or catches, 69 touchdowns. 69 catches for 952 yards with 10 touchdowns let's now move over i want to wait on the old receiving thing uh fields didn't even play here which i mean that could happen but obviously it would be dalton and nick Foles being here is it's quite the interesting thing joe burrow already definitely a better passing performance than uh tua and jamar chase being the number two wide receiver here instead well technically number one if you want to put boyd in the slot uh, definitely outperformed Jalen Waddle, 1,151 yards, eight touchdowns. Let's move over to the Eagles, and again, I don't want to start with the the wide receiver. I want to want to end on it. The the Eagles, did they even start Jalen? They did, 31 touchdowns, nine interceptions. A pretty modest season again, uh, with the receiving of Devontae Smith being the true number one here. 
at the worst of the bunch. Let's go to the Jaguars now. ETN with uh, 249 yards, five touchdowns. Did they even run him? They did, but it wasn't anything super special. And I suppose we'll take a look at the, uh, the Patriots who just did not use... Uh, Damien Harris at all. Cam Newton likely to be the starter over there, and he is the starter here, so never mind on that one. As far as yearly awards go, Rookie of the Year is going to go to the, the real-life players here, unfortunately. Oh, J Jamin Davis and uh, Trey Lance, though, on the N uh, NFC side. Not bad, not bad. Okay. Well, let's see if any of the two can make it. The Bengals and the uh, Eagles would be kind of sick if they actually played each other, and it's neither of them, but it is two teams with... One of the top five rookie quarterbacks and the Patriots win. Obviously, neither team started their guy, but very interesting to say the least because, I mean, these two teams would never make it to maybe even top three in Sim. Obviously, they haven't done the, the Bears rebuild yet, but be interesting to see what happens there, how fast we can get that done, if we can even, you know, win one at all. But usually those teams don't make it, so I don't know, maybe the... The morale is up with the future being high. I don't know how that would work because both teams have their quarterbacks that are starting or not the rookies, but... All right, that's the sim. It appears, which I'd say, in my opinion, that pure numbers-wise, it probably would be Jalen... Or not Jalen. It would be uh, Jamar and Burrow, but I think full success and where the teams are headed, it's probably going to be Jalen and Tua, but only time will tell. It might be... I mean, Maybe Jalen Hurts is the guy. I don't expect him to be, but maybe they do special things over there because Devontae is kind of like, you know, it's the need. So you would you would think he would stand out above the rest and he would become the number one guy where the other teams, they're not completely lacking on receiver, but, you know, they obviously get a lot of help with the guys they took. Regardless, though, that is going to be the video experiments uh, with, you know, of course, that Bears rebuild hopefully coming out a little bit later today. And there should be a stream on twitch.tv slash here tonight as well. Uh, if you guys enjoy this, maybe leave a like, subscribe if you're new, follow me on Twitter, Jumpy Care, second channel, PK Plays, twitch.tv slash Care for streams once again. And uh, maybe let me know in the comment section below if there's something else you would like to see. Maybe when the draft is completely over and all the draft picks are on the right teams, we can uh, you know do a full sim and see what EA thinks. Uh, and uh, also, maybe there's some like comment pin i made about uh that amazon affiliate thing i said before where if you click the link and buy something within 24 hours instead of amazon getting the full thing i get some it's like the only kind of sponsorship quote unquote thing i've ever taken so uh you know i'll, I'll run with it for a while see what happens anyways thanks for watching hope you guys come back for next video but until next video see ya we're in the witch's cave. I would love to be in that witch's cave. She is looking nice. I mean, what? Like, I did not expect there to be this many men in her garden. I wouldn't have uh, been so interested. Wi-Fi connection. Oh, no, not Wi-Fi. I'm playing a single-player game. Touch my son! What do you think you are? Michael Jackson? Oh, sorry, child. I just touched you. Well, I'll be honest. Some people would use that head for very evil things, if you know what I mean. Oh, hell no! It's like mini Kratos's. It's like meth head Kratos.